Megyn Kelly was a guest on Bill Maher's show, Real Time with Bill Maher, to talk about Donald Trump and MAGA's constant whining about the election and how the election was stolen from him in 2022, Donald Trump claims. Luke Beasley broke all of this down on his show. We're going to take a look at clips from Real Time with Bill Maher with Megyn Kelly. We're going to also take a look at clips from Luke Beasley's show. I will share my thoughts from time to time as well. Let's check this out together. MAGA influencer, Megan Kelly. She, if you haven't been keeping up with her development, is sort of all the way back. I think she, after the horrific Trump post-debate garbage that he espoused about her, I think she moderated a little bit. Did she? I don't know. And now all I can tell you for sure is now she's back in the MAGA camp and is voting for Trump, supporting him in this election. And she appeared on Bill Maher's show. I want to play this for you. It's on a topic that you've heard me go over a bunch of times. But what I want to use it as is a transition into a really interesting series of unfortunate and harmful things that Republicans are doing in the lead up to this election. That while our movement respects democracy enough to not cry that the election's going to be stolen or to make these big proclamations that eat away at the perceived legitimacy of our democracy. I can tell you for certain, that's how I want to discuss this, that the series of things we're going to go through, if Democrats had done them or were doing, would become justification for 10x the election denialism from Republicans, emphasizing the wild contrast in uh, Democratic principles or lack thereof between the two movements. And I did say it uh, quickly, just for those who already saw the segment or watching the full show, that we'd go over this in a bonus show. We're actually going to going to go over here, excuse me, uh, for everyone. But first, here is Bill Maher and Megyn Kelly. Okay, but you know, uh, you know this. I mean, you've even said it that uh, if Trump wins, there will definitely be denialism. I mean, he's only going to say one of two things if about he loses. If he loses, yeah. there's only uh, he'll either say it was rigged, or it was the most perfect, beautiful election ever. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You're admitting that. Yeah. And yet you're going to vote for him. Yeah. We want to know why. Well, don't think there won't be denialism if Kamala Harris loses, too. It but... won't be the same. OK, but there's going to be. I mean, they're already laying the foundation for lawfare. We're going to be stuck in this election one way or the other, no matter who wins, for weeks. Well, there's no evidence of that. Democrats have never done that. They've conceded. Al we already had this fight on my show. Hillary Clinton is the original election denier. She's not Stacey an election Abrams. denier. It's, yes, it's, she it's, is. It's, it's different. Come on. Right. Hillary Clinton is not the original election denier. She conceded what hours after the election, definitely by the next day. Is she still talking about the election years later every single day in every single interview that she does? No, Hillary Clinton is not doing that. So this is nonsense on Megyn Kelly's part. Donald Trump is the biggest crybaby that we've ever seen in politics. Uh, Hillary Clinton did not cry for years and years and years over the election like Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump complained about the election that he won, that it was rigged. So this is not true by Megyn Kelly, but Megyn Kelly was a failure on network television. She's gone to YouTube where she's doing very well. She's getting lots of views and I'm sure making lots and lots of money. But she has gone full MAGA. Megyn Kelly, Kelly has gone full MAGA to appeal to this MAGA movement, these MAGA people. What I wonder is with the people like Megyn Kelly, if Donald Trump loses, what happens to them? Are people going to continue to watch their shows when she talks about Donald Trump every single day and sucks up to Donald Trump every single day? Are people going to continue to watch Megyn Kelly's show? Man, it's different between grumbling. Yes, they grumble and they shouldn't and maybe it goes over the line. It's different between grumbling about something and actually trying to overturn it like he did. I mean, you know this. To go through this. That's fine. You know. You're allowed to file legal challenges in response to an election, which is what Trump did, and he lost, and he did wind up leaving office. I'm not going to defend his behavior on January 6th. I never have, and I'm not going to start tonight. But if you don't think there's going to be denialism on the Dem side, you haven't been paying attention to what's been happening on that side for these years. Look, you, you want to know why I'm going to vote for him. And then she gets into undocumented immigration points we've heard and addressed many, many times. But there you she's going to vote for him because that's what the people that watch her show want to hear her say. She can't say, oh, no, 
Donald Trump is a creep. I'm not going to vote for him. He said all kinds of horrible things about me. Even after Megyn Kelly started simping hard for him, he was still saying bad stuff about her. But these people like Megyn Kelly have no shame. You've heard that many times, right? Oh, it's, it's Hillary Clinton who's the real election denier. Which, by the way, some of them say that was so terrible of Hillary Clinton when she, for example, way after the election, after conceding, called Trump an illegitimate president. The scale magnitude effect, just them even ever being put in the same sentence is ridiculous comparing the two for the reasons that you're about to listen to. But also... You saying that's bad of her means you have to then say it's bad about Trump, but 10x, here's what I mean, because you've heard me in front of this background make this point a gazillion times, I'll put a little different scenery to me making the point this time during episode one of Mocha's with MAGA talking to a Trump supporter. Should we arrest and throw Hillary Clinton in jail for challenging her election, or should we take, you know... I'm so happy you asked that. Al, should we I take thought Al you were Gore? a smart guy, and should then you're letting me Al down Gore? here. How could you possibly compare what Hillary did and what Trump did when Hillary They call said in question some, a national election. Said, right, right, right. Which I think in situations, she acted inappropriately. What did she do? Her freedom of speech. What did Trump do? A should she be arrested? coordinated conspiracy to overthrow the election. She didn't try to do that. Did she try to work with Obama to put her into power as president? No. Did she? He immediately brought... Obama, that is, Trump to the White House and said, this is our next president and who brought. And she called to concede to him and she delivered a concession speech the next day. How could you, number one, compare that to the speech? And Trump's not even being prosecuted for his speech. He's being prosecuted for the actions he justified with his speech. So we now are against free speech and we want our government. Now, were you listening to me? Yeah. He wasn't. The guy wasn't listening to Luke Beasley at all. I just said it explicitly. No, I heard not you freedom said. of speech. I, I know, but I, you one gets it went in one ear and out the other. To the other, my dollar represents my voice. So you brought up Hillary. Mm -hmm. Tell me. There's like seven others you could bring up on a national where, level. Tell me where or Stacey Abrams or anyone. That's a great. I know. Point. Always. I know. A where person you're going. of color. Are you being discriminatory? So where? So, you're so strange. Um, where? <laughs> this guy talking to Luke Beasley is a douche. Where <laughs> did? Stacey Abrams, Hillary Clinton, or anyone else you would bring up, try to block the certification of their election or put together a fraudulent slate of electors to assert themselves to be the victor, or this doesn't apply to Stacey Abrams, but with the national elections, try to get the vice president to block the certification and then send it back to the states. Well, neither one of us are lawyers. And the overwhelming majority of constitutional experts says that was not constitutional. And if you look at what's taking place, the real question is, how did they violate the Constitution? Okay, okay. So, oh, it's so upsetting to watch because he just, it's like I'm talking to a wall. Just, he's not at all hearing what I'm saying. I forgot. That talking to a wall is an apt description by Luke Beasley. But this is the thing with MAGA right wingers. Everything is projection. Everything that their their guy has done, they're trying to project onto their guy being Donald Trump. They're trying to project onto the Democrats and the left. And like Luke Beasley said, there's no comparison between what Hillary Clinton did, as Bill Maher says, grumbling about the election because she lost to Donald Trump and trying to overthrow an election, which is what Donald Trump did, and then crying about it for years, which Hillary Clinton did not do, and Donald Trump continues to do. And if he loses, which I think he's going to, he's going to lose to Kamala Harris, I believe, then he's going to cry until the end of time. And sadly, we're probably, I, you know, I figure Donald Trump will live to be a hundred years old <laughs> tweeting or whatever technology will be used a decade or so from now to continue to whine and cry like the crybaby that Donald Trump is. But Luke Beasley's exactly right. There's no comparison at all between the two. Bill Maher is absolutely right. There's no comparison between Democrats and MAGA in terms of this election deniability. And like I said, with Megyn Kelly, she's gone full MAGA. That's the only way that she can make money. She's simping for Trump, even though Trump doesn't even like her. And it's going to be interesting to see what Megyn Kelly does when Donald Trump is no longer in office and she doesn't have him to talk about every day.
But let me know in the comments what you think about Luke Beasley's breakdown of, of this, Megyn Kelly versus Bill Maher on Bill Maher's show, my comments, or comment on anything that you like. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. The channel's growing rapidly. I want to continue to keep growing so I can bring out more content like this. So if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy what I'm doing on this channel, please do so. This is Chris on Culture. I'll see you in the next video.